Welcome to the School of Better's Mind course. I'm Emily Toner and this is the beginner lesson where you will learn about the brain. Let's begin with the top 10 things you need to know about your brain. Your brain consists of billions of special cells called neurons that talk to each other by connections known as neural pathways. The neural pathways in your brain keep changing and growing your whole life depending on your environment and how you use your brain. This is known as neuroplasticity. If you spend your time worrying, the worry pathways of your brain get stronger and stronger and easier to trigger. Alternatively, the more you focus on the present, the stronger these pathways become and the easier it becomes to remain present. The amygdala is the fear centre of your brain, so when you experience long periods of stress, this area gets bigger, while other areas, such as the frontal lobe involved in attention, memory and planning, get smaller. Our brains have an inbuilt negativity bias to help us avoid danger. So this means that we're more likely to remember and anticipate negative events occurring than positive ones. The negativity bias can also influence our thoughts about ourselves. So this means that we're more likely to criticise than encourage ourselves when things go wrong. Our bodies are pretty clever and can influence our brain and the way we feel. For example, when you intentionally smile, your body sends signals to your brain telling it that you're happy. When we're sad, we have a narrow focus. But when we're happy, we see more of our visual field and are more likely to see the big picture over the detail. So the experience of positive emotion literally opens our mind. However, positive emotions don't always last. Shortly after a positive event happens, like buying a car or going on holiday, your brain tends to quickly return to its baseline level of happiness. This is known as hedonic adaption. Our brain processes social pain, like feeling rejected, exactly the same way it treats physical pain, such as having a broken leg. This means that social connection is just as important to our brain as physical survival. Thanks for joining me for the top 10 things you need to know about your brain. Enjoy the rest of this lesson and I'll see you again to learn about mindfulness.